Hello again, it is Matamus. Thank you for joining me on the video today. Uh, we are talking about anti-tank guided missiles again, uh, and you're probably wondering, Matamus, why on earth do you keep talking about anti-tank guided missiles all the time? You've done so many different missile reviews on them lately, it's getting insane. Well, the interesting thing with these kinds of weapon systems is once you open the research floodgates, it really just sets you up for looking into all the other platforms out there and how they compare to one another. Uh, interestingly enough, this technology is, of course, going way above what I'm used to in terms of capabilities, you know, remote controlled uh, platforms that, uh, you know, not only can be, you know, used from a distance by a troop, which isn't really anything new, but missiles that can, you know, track targets in flight and re-engage and swap out targets and recon targets and, you know, the distances in which they fly. It's just really fascinating. Uh, also terrifying for any armored fighting vehicle crew. So uh, the the whole premise of the ATGM in modern warfare is, is very, very interesting to me. So that's why I'm kind of reviewing on it a lot. So stay with it. Uh, I think you'll enjoy today's video. So today we are are talking about the Shoshen anti-tank guided missile. Uh, the Shoshen, otherwise known as the Hornet, is a Belarusian version of the Ukrainian Skiff anti-tank guided missile and is an extension to a competitor of the Russian Cornet, which I have done a video on and feel free to go check that out. The basic Shoshen is a D variant that utilizes a tandem configuration where two 130mm missiles are installed side by side on a single pivoting mount. The Shishen D is suited for light vehicles and armored personnel carriers. Another variant of the Shishen is a vehicle specific, the Shishen Q, which application is very similar, for the most part, to Cornet D, which is deployed by the vehicle. In Belarus, the Shishen is armed with two types of missiles, the RK-2S with a tandem heat warhead and the RK-20F, a fragmentation round for defeating softskin vehicles and bunkers. The RK-2S penetration is more than enough to disable current generation main battle tanks and maximum ranges around about 5,000 meters, which I thought was pretty impressive overall. Should the operator prefer to use the 152mm P-2B missile for the Shishen, the effective range stretches to an impressive 7,500 meters with a very high penetration value of 1,100 millimeters against rolled homogeneous steel and explosive reactive armor. So who better to explain this missile system overall than the people who have developed it? And in the video you're about to see, they're going to describe its overall features, capabilities, different kinds of technology they put into it. And honestly, I could probably discuss it just as much, but it makes more sense for the people who have designed this weapons platform to give you a little bit of an insight as to what what it's all about. So let's take a look, shall we? In present day battle, tanks are the main shock power of the land forces. For effective combating of hostile tanks, other armored objects and firing points, joint stock company SRPC has developed anti-tank missile system Shershin. This is ATMS of latest generation. The lineup of Shershin systems includes modifications with one, two, or four firing channels, which can be performed in a portable version or mounted on mobile platforms. A light version of the system is produced as well. Maximum range of fire of ATMS Shurgeon at moving target is 5,000 meters. At the stationary target, 5,500 meters. The sighting range of fire is superior to the sighting range of firing the tank guns by one and a half to two times. Missile flight time to maximum range will not exceed 24 seconds. Caliber of the missile 130 or 152 millimeters. Armor penetration behind explosive reactive armor is from 800 to 1100 millimeters in equivalent, depending on the caliber. Weight of the system is 90 kilograms. There is also a missile version of 130 millimeter caliber with extended range of flight up to 8 kilometers, developed specifically for mounting on helicopters. A crew of two can move the ATMS surgeon on foot or by any kind of transport. Time of deployment is just up to two minutes. The shooting is conducted at a field firing range. T-80 tank body is used as an armored target. The crew occupies a position at the distance of 3,600 meters from the target. The target is in direct view area.
The launch is made in 55 seconds after the crew has taken up their position. The target is hit. ATMS Shurjan works reliably with high effectiveness. The system includes a launcher, a transport launching container with a guided missile, a guidance device, and a remote control panel. The guidance device, PNS, is designed for surveillance of terrain and reconnaissance of targets, aiming of the missile at a target, target ranging, and guidance of the missile in flight. With that, the laser channel of the missile control has an important advantage. It was produced using the so-called mode of overflight, during the flight, the missile is moving at an elevation over the sighting line from 3 to 10 meters, and only half a second until the moment of target destination it gets the line of sight. It increases the stealth capability until the last moment the enemy does not detect the laser emission beam and the missile. There is no time to hide. It allows the effective firing on terrain with natural and artificial obstacles. For night firing, PNS may be equipped with thermal imaging modules of different manufacturers. Launching of the missile is performed from the transport launching container. A warhead for the missile can be tandem hollow charge or high explosive fragmentation. The tandem hollow charge warhead allows to overcome the reactive armor of all modern tanks and armored vehicles and to penetrate the armor of width from 800 to 1,100 millimeters in equivalent at a striking angle of 60 degrees. Missiles with high explosive fragmentation warheads are used to defeat enemy manpower, including different types of shelters as well as non-armored vehicles. The launcher is produced on a folding three-point support, which allows the use of the Shurjan anti-tank missile system on any relief of the terrain. A moving platform installed on the launcher provides turns in horizontal and vertical planes. PNS, guidance device, and a container with the missile are fixed on it. ATMS Shurjan is controlled remotely from the external control panel. An operator can stay directly near the launcher as well as in a shelter at a distance of 100 meters or more. It considerably enhances survivability of the crew and decreases psychological stress on the operator. Before launching, the remote control panel automatically tests all the elements of the system. It ensures workability for at least four hours without replacement of an accumulator battery. ATMS Scherchen is efficient against mobile targets. Auto tracking mode allows to track and destroy moving targets automatically without operator's participation. The operator should just lock on the target for auto tracking mode and then push the button for missile launch. ATMS Scherchen is universal. It may be used in any climate areas within the range of working temperatures from minus 35 to plus 65 degrees centigrade. It may be used by day and at night and in adverse weather conditions. Any subdivisions may have Scherchen in their arsenal. It is capable to defeat equally effectively the up-to-date tanks including those with mounted and built-in reactive armor, fortification constructions, above water, and low-speed, low-altitude air targets. Due to its high technology, the system is simple to operate. Personnel training can be carried out directly in units by the instructor, including the use of an electronic simulator. 
Missile System Scherzen can be used not only autonomously, but on different mobile platforms. The modular design of the launcher allows the use a base of different wheeled and track chassis, sea and river vessels. It is possible to install Scherzen on any base within a short period of time, directly in the territory of the customer. The light version of the ATMS is Shergen L. Weight of the system is just about 20 kilograms and is equipped with missile of 107 millimeters caliber, which after overcoming of reactive armor is capable to penetrate the armor in equivalent to 550 millimeters at a range of up to two and a half kilometers. So there you have it, the Shoshen anti-tank guided missile platform. Very impressive. Uh, some features that have some pros and cons for me. Of course, the remote controlled uh, system is nothing new. It's been around for quite some time, but the capabilities that have changed in that remote system is, is very capable now. It's not as simple as, you know, um, left, right, up, down, scanning a target and fire. This thing has a lot more capabilities with that remote control system uh, than previous designs from, you know, countries around the world. One of the big drawbacks of this missile system, though, is its slow flight speed. The missile travels for 24 seconds at a maximum range, and for best results, it's often tested well against targets located around 3,000 to 3,500 meters away. So, you know, if you're engaging a target that's at its maximum range, that's a long flight time, uh, a lot of time for things to go wrong, wind, you know, um, sensors to fail, uh, you know, countermeasures to be put in place, etc, etc. So a little disappointing on the flight time, and of course the motors on this rocket are probably a little less than uh, perfect, but overall, given its relative newness in the ATGM market, the Shishen really hasn't made a huge impact against some of the legacy systems and third generation upstarts like Javelin and Spike, which I just recently did a video. Um, apart from the Belarusian army, the Shishen's earliest clients are actually the Temekistan and Nigeria. So it'll be interesting to see exactly uh, any other countries that do come into the market for this missile platform. Guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video, learned a little bit more about another ATGM. I promise I will try my best not to fulfill my ATGM craving uh, on my channel a little bit for a while here, so you guys can relax, I won't put any more out. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video, please leave me a comment of what you think of the missile and the video. If you want to support my channel, please go check out my Patreon account, I'd be really appreciative if you could uh, and thanks to every single one of you who have so far if you want to follow me on facebook i am on there cringe i hate facebook and social media i hate it and uh, also discord is up so if you want to come have a chat play some games uh, hang out then come on to there too the links of all of those are in the description box below hope you have a great day and bye bye